24 past the hour, Donald Trump is calling for a top State Department official to resign immediately. As Hillary Clinton's private email server, while she was Secretary of State, continues to stir controversy for her campaign. Newly revealed notes from the FBI's investigation into Clinton show a federal agent accused a top State Department official of discussing a quid pro quo to resolve a dispute over whether a Clinton email should be classified. As part of the interagency discussion over the classifications, the Under Secretary of State for Management, Patrick Kennedy, originally contacted the FBI about a single email that was in dispute. A discussion ensued that led to another FBI agent suggesting there was a transactional deal. The notes say in exchange for marking the email on classified state would reciprocate by allowing the FBI to place more agents in countries where they are presently forbidden with a focus on Iraq. But yesterday the State Department was emphatic that no quid pro quo was offered by the official and both agencies denied that a deal was ever made. Now in the New York Times, <laughs> I'm looking Great at Great job. Yeah. It is so unclear um, that it, it's kind of classic in a way that I'm afraid to say. Um, but um, here's what the New York Times goes on to say. What remains unclear from the documents was whether it was Mr. Kennedy or an FBI official who purportedly offered the quid pro quo. Marking the email unclassified in exchange for the State Department's approving the posting of more FBI agents to Iraq. So the FBI has an interest, Mark Halperin. They want, you know, more agents in certain places. And what? The Clinton campaign? <coughs> or the Clintons, or who has the... The State the Department has a, has a bureaucratic quo. interest. It, as, a, as the Clinton campaign correctly points out, and the State Department does, State Department frequently fights with other agencies about classification. Okay. And they frequently think other agencies want to overclassify things. In this case, though, <coughs> Mr. Kennedy was doing, in effect, the bidding of Hillary Clinton. Uh-huh. We don't know very much, in part because the FBI has done an outrageous thing. A couple weeks before Election Day, they've selectively put out documents that they shouldn't be putting out right. that create suspicion and justified suspicion. Okay, so I have a question for you. Yeah. Worst case scenario, yeah. what was the quid pro quo here? Worst case scenario, worst case scenario, we don't yeah. know this. Worst case scenario, okay, but we, the State but we Department, know that there's a story the here Depart that we're trying to get worst through. Worst case scenario is a State Department official in an attempt to uh -huh. try to keep something from being up classified, uh -huh. making Hillary Clinton look worse, engaged in a discussion and said to the FBI, hey, if you agree with us on how we classify this particular document, I'll do you this other so favor. So what do we know? Do Maybe. we know that Maybe. The Clintons were so yeah. concerned about the fact that she would look loose with national security secrets that this was going on. Do we know that? Hillary Clinton didn't want things to be made more classified because that would make her have lied about her emails. So do we know there was an effort to make things look less classified? There was definitely that effort. What was their motivation? Was it a quid pro quo or was it simply the State Department doing its normal thing? We know thing? For, the, for the for fact there was an effort to make things look less classified to make her look better. But, but that, we don't know that was their motive. Their motive may have simply been their normal State Department right. behavior saying everybody else overclassifies stuff. We need to have less classification. We don't know his motive. We don't know if he engaged, either brought up or engaged in a discussion of a quid pro quo. But Republicans are right, thanks to the FBI's absurd handling of this. Republicans are right. We need to look at this. We need to know more. Should there be a congressional hearing? Why did the election? FBI yeah, absurdly know. handle this? Because you don't put it. There's a reason why you do your arguing in court. If you're not going to indict, you don't start selectively putting out documents. I, yeah. What I leads you to believe? And Mark, Mark yeah. I, you know, I, let, 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 let me jump in here because Mark's exactly right. There are so many layers to this right now. Of course, the State Department saying it's a rogue FBI agent. The FBI is actually agreeing with that. There's, a, there, there's this back and forth. But Mark, we've talked about this before. Comey, his handling, I mean, listen, 55% of Americans told Washington Post, ABC, that they thought Hillary Clinton should have been indicted. All right, but James Comey decided not to indict her, despite the fact that many people believe everybody else would have been indicted. Right. But I think you and I agree on this point. If you're not going to indict her, 
don't cover your ass. Don't go out and hold a press conference and treat Hillary Clinton. First of all, they treat Hillary Clinton differently, I believe, than they treat anybody else by not indicting her. And then Comey treats her differently than everybody exactly. else by holding this absurd press conference. And I've got to say again, I agree with you. The FBI releasing this two weeks before an election when they could have released it six months ago. Right. They and could I'll release it six months from now is absurd despite the fact I have absolutely no sympathy for anything Hillary Clinton has done with the handling of the emails. But I say it again, Comey's handling of this entire episode has been an embarrassment for FBI agents and FBI professionals that have been there for decades. I totally agree. And the only thing I'll take issue with is that you refer to it as a press conference. He's not taking a single question from the media about this. That was a statement, not a press conference. They put these uh, documents out un with no, uh, no explanation of why. The redactions in them are completely unexplained. He's pretending this is transparent and this was an extraordinary case and it required transparency. And instead, it's all selective. No questions from the public and the media, just from some members of Congress, and documents that get redacted with no explanation as to why. So it's unfair to Hillary Clinton, it's unfair to Kennedy, but also I understand why Republicans have concerns because FBI agents are quoted in these documents saying there was an attempt at a quid pro quo. All right. And, and, and we, sh we should add, if this was an attempted quid pro quo, it was a failed one. Because in the end, the documents were upgraded to, to classified, right? right. And, there was and no the FBI received no desk space in Baghdad. As far, oh, as, neither, we know. As, far as we know. Oh, so neither side got what it wanted. Off of the behavior of the FBI in this, and it's not the first time that this has occurred, uh, if this were a criminal case in open court, the judge would toss it. He would toss it based on the FBI's behavior. I mean, the conflicting stories that the FBI put, puts out. About you mean about Hillary Clinton or about the alleged uh, quid pro quo? About Hillary Clinton and, and the quid pro quo. All, all of it's lumped together. I mean, Comey's statement, it wasn't a press conference, and now the, the document dump, and that's what it is, two and a half weeks before an election. It's incredible. The FBI has, it, it needs to stop interfering with the election. Comey's like, I don't want to interfere with the election. That's all he's done is interfere. The FBI, he's enraged the people on every blah, side. Blah, blah, blah. Guess why we're here? That's all I'm going to say, because uh, the reason we're here is, and the reason why we're having this unbelievable conversation starts somewhere. Um, so it doesn't look good. You, you, what, what do you mean? Hillary oh, Clinton's don't. decision to have the private email look, server? I just, I've always, I, I'm, it just doesn't make any sense. Well, that's the thing. The, yeah. this story's a hot mess. You can hardly untangle it. People mess. are playing it Look up the because they're leads. under pressure to play it up. The, the, no, the sin no, is the original because, sin. It's setting right. up a server, moving classified information against precedent and advice. <laughs> like that, to me, is is what people have jumped on, pounced on, and, and rightly ridiculed her for. And you and that's what this batch of Podesta emails shows more than anything. Like you, with Hillary Clinton, you know exactly what you're getting. That there's a, there's so much plotting, there's so much scheming, there's so much calculation, and that's what got her into trouble. And that's why you have this story, which to me is, is, unless a lot more comes out, is kind of a non-story. All right. State Department spokesman John Kirby joins us in our 8 o'clock hour this morning to discuss this story. And coming up this hour, the grace of George H.W. Bush 41 biographer John Meacham joins us with his look at the legacy of the former president and how it relates to this election. Morning Joe is coming right back. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.